Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Steven from Trip Gaming. Welcome back to the greatest YouTube on the planet. So, today's video, plain and simple. YCS 200 is coming, and I updated my list. This is my updated 60 card list. I want to give you guys the, actual, uh, the sauce before the event starts. This is my perfect list right now. It's been tested. We went through war with this deck. I went played multiple, multiple people. Not on rated, because my, my rating is like 5 or something on, on Dueling Books. So, I got a bunch of my good friends that are really good at this game. Played with them online, uh, went, like lost one, one lost, figured out what worked, figured out what didn't, and this is now the best list that I have. All right. So before we get started, when I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain the in, in depth, so you guys know why to play what card. The deck list right now is extremely important. You need every single competitive advantage possible that you can to get over your opponent because Electrum to one hurts a lot, man. It hurts a lot. It extremely hurts. It really hurts the grind game of the deck big time. And uh, your board sucks compared to the old board. So I figured out different ways to combat it. To overall give you the best competitive advantage uh, to destroy your opponent. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. But make sure, like, comment, subscribe guys. I want to get to 12,000 ASAP. Before the YCS even starts, I want to get 12,000. So make sure to subscribe guys. Make sure to like and tell all your friends. Let's go. Because we're going to get this channel to be the greatest channel on the planet. Mark my words. It's just a matter of time before we hit 100,000. Trust me. All right. So, the uh, the list, for the most part, is going to be the same. We got three Wisdom. Three, like, the Magician Count's the exact same still. It's three Wisdom, three Harmo, two Janky, two Oath, one Poison, one Fang, one Gazer. That part's the same. I'm just going to mainly talk about the new stuff. Uh, three Dark Red, one Zero, three Razor, three Chrono. That's all the same still. Three Cerberus. Those 26 cards are the exact same. All right? I'm not going to talk about those. If you're interested in those, just go watch my other video. This is the perfect ratio. You need all these. Uh, super quick for those who are just getting into it now, who are new, pretty new to the channel, like in the last few days. Uh, you need to play Double Janky. It's a, a light, it negates light monsters. It's a one card interruption. Uh, the deck is going towards one card interruptions more so than uh, a big board. So one card, you need one, uh, you need one, one card interruption every single turn. More theory here. You need one one card interruption every single turn to ensure that you have three interruptions up at least. So, get a little snack going. Anyways, you need at the very least one one card interruption, and Janky is the only one card interruption for Pendulum that you don't need an extra deck for, so it's necessary. Uh, well, there's a there's a really bad fruit snack. Being healthy sucks. Anyways. You need double open in case you banish one. And some people play one janky, but two is correct. Trust me, janky is an incredible card itself. Uh, the scale effects are relevant, but the monster effect is extremely, extremely good. All right, so uh, we played two jackals instead of three. Uh, three was overkill. We always found that if you really needed jack, we just sent one with an electrum. You don't need more than two. Uh, we played one sloth instead of three since it's very tough to resolve sloth. Sometimes it does just brick, but sloth on the field itself is sometimes an auto win. That's why I played three. Then sure, I always drew it. Uh, it's um, an auto win a lot of a lot of the time. But uh, I find that the the times where you can go into the sloth, you can't use your normal summon anyways, right? So in the time when you make your electrum without using your, your your normal summon, you just send it with electrum, add it to your hand. After you make a board, you tribute summon at the end with a vortex. So uh, one is all is all you need. Then uh, we cut three persona down to two because again, just like the jackal. Uh, you always have access to the one card interruptions. We played too many before. Now this is the perfect ratio I find. So double persona. I played two Arda's Arc Pendulum because it, it, the deck needs more high scales. And having more, in case you banish one, it's extremely important to have one going through the deck. Because Duelist Alliance, uh, uh, Duelist Alliance, even its, its effect is relevant, to be honest. Because if you draw, uh, so look how many ways you can get, go into this card. Go into an Arda's card. So you have four Arda's card monsters. You have five actual Odd-Eyes cards. There's five, that's nine. And three Duelist Alliance which searches an Odd-Eyes card. That's 12. So if you draw two of these 12, you will get to resolve Odd-Eyes Arc Pendulum's effect. So uh, it is important to ensure... It is extremely important that you uh, get to draw... You get to have two of those 12. You get a free Turbo card and a free Monster on board and another level 7 going through the deck. And another... It's extremely important. The, uh, the Sky Iris, the whole Odd-Eyes engine makes this deck. So... Uh, before Electrum was a thing, more theory involved here. Before Electrum was a thing, people played Odd Eyes Magician, and it was crazy. Before even Dimensional Barrier came out, it was huge. Uh, now I, I'm gonna, Odd Eyes is gonna see a lot more play now. Odd Eyes is a gigantic part of this deck. It's a huge part of this deck. 
Sky Iris is incredible. It gives you a negate, a low scale, a high scale. It gives you a level 7. It protects your scales. It, it's absolutely incredible. It gives you whatever you need in a certain situation. It's incredibly versatile. It's an amazing, amazing card. And you get to play 5 copies of Iris. And honestly, Iris is the new MVP. It gives you literally whatever you need. So, the way to play the deck now is simple. It's one card interruption, three, inter uh, three, three interruptions in total first turn. And mainly... Uh, vers versatility there's an incredible versatility in this deck uh now you got to play it a different way incredible versatility and utility you can do anything you want with this deck uh abductor is a new addition you play 21 spells chronograph counts the spells 24 because you get it off your scale curtain razor counts the spell because you get it off that's 27 you play 27 spells why would you not play uh abductor with 27 spells and terraforming counts as two spells in itself. Desires gets on alliance counts as two spells. Like Allure desires just draw cards gets you more spells. Like it's absolutely incredible scale. Like the whole deck spells in itself because it scales. Abductor resolves ninety nine percent of the time. The only reason I didn't play Abductor before is just in case uh, I want. I needed magicians, but now like like I said, Scott Iris uh, lets you do so many things. Uh, you just pop the Abductor after you, you resolve the Abductor's effect. See the same reason why I played Triple Rescue Hamster. Uh, Sky Iris, a le any level 4, a Dark Worm, Razor, Abductor, then just normal summon Hamster, you have a 1 card Electrum. Like, and even if he gets hand trapped, who cares? It's just 1 card. Like, and, and it, it's absolutely incredible. Sky Iris is absolutely necessary. Uh, what Sky Iris does for this deck is remarkable. Uh, I would play 3 Terraforming 100% if it was around, but it's not. But regardless, I think 5 is a great number. So, those are the monsters. Hamster is absolutely necessary. Even if you don't have Sky Iris, even if you don't have Sky Iris, uh, doesn't matter. Like, keep Abductor in the scale against Sky Striker, you get a free card every single turn. Uh, keep Abductor in the scale against Brickstar, you get a free card every turn. Against Pendulum, get a free card every turn. Uh, Rescue Hamster. Let's say you, uh, open Dark War Let's say you open Foolish Burial, Foolish Burial, Wisdom Eye, and some uh, Rescue Hamster and some random cards. Alright, so you Foolish Burial, you normal summon the Wisdom Eye just because they make an Electrum because you have Dark Worm, Wisdom, make an Electrum. Electrum effects send Wisdom Eye, boom. Even if it gets Ghost Ogred, e like, Hamster, add both Wisdom Eyes, boom. You have two scales now, and they're Wisdom Eyes. They're the best scale. Like, Hamster's incredibly broken, both effects of it. And with Sky Iris, it turns even more broken. So, three Hamsters is an absolute must, and this isn't uh, debatable. If you're playing Sky Iris, in 60 cards, you must play Sky Iris. In 40, I'm going to find a way to cut the deck down to still play Triple Hamster and five Sky Iris. Because Sky Iris is remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. Uh, the whole world's been really, uh, more theory here. The world's extremely, uh, lucky. For, like, well, like, from what we've seen Goki do, like, Goki boards, the world thinks that it has to be extra link or nothing. Think of Yu-Gi-Oh! before Goki and before Spiral. Just think of how the boards were. Like, remember when Pendulum, when Pangraphs first got announced, it was Dom versus Draco, and, uh, no one knew what was gonna be the best deck, or Spiral was in there too, and, like, the boards were subpar, just like a sleeper, like a sleeper and maybe a hand trap or like a pen graph, a baguska, some or manga, something like that. Those are the boards before Goki. So this deck puts up three interruptions. That was a thing before Goki. Before Goki, three interruptions was gigantic. If you do three interruptions, you're good. You win. That was how it was before Goki. So that's what this deck does exactly. It puts up three interruptions, but it's even better than those other decks because you plus like crazy on top. So, you put up three interruptions and you plus like crazy. That's a deck. So, in terms of the spells, it's the exact same spell kind, except before we played one Terraform, now we played two. Because I finally realized the power of Sky Iris. I made a side deck for you guys as well. Uh, in my opinion, this is the most versatile side deck. So, uh, triple draw, triple Ash, triple Impertinent, triple Reboot, triple Twister. There's a reason behind it all. You have nine hand traps. These hand traps are just made just to... Only to stop uh, Extra Link and Gumblar. Uh, they're still they, these hand traps suck. They still they're still gonna give you they're still gonna put up a board after these hand traps. But uh, there's a reason why you also play these nine. I don't think Goki's gonna see much play because it's gonna require a good player to play them, and uh, that cuts the 99 percent of players that play Yu-Gi-Oh. So most of what you're gonna be facing are decks that are, are brain dead decks like True Draco and Altergeist. So you need as many ways to get rid of Floodgates as possible, especially in a 60 card deck. Also, 60 cards, the way to go. It's the most versatile. 60 is better than 40. I'm going to say it again. Anyways, against Altergeist, Draco, we got Triple Twister, Triple Reboot, Triple 
impermanence, all these nine stop floodgates. Impermanence stop floodgates a turn later, but they also stop Goki. So, and it's an actual hand trap. So any any hand trap that could stop a floodgate, I'm playing. Because it stops a floodgate, stops a floodgate and you can play it against Goki. So, uh, we also have another one of those is Ash. The only way you're losing to Brickstar is if they draw reincarnation you. So, you got three Ash and three Reboot for, against them. Draw one of those six, you win. But Ash is also, it's versatile. Remember what I said about versatility? It's also a ha- it's also a hand trap. It's a hand trap, hand trap, and it stops a floodgate. So inter- I'm good, like an auto win situation, like anti spell or like draw reincarnation. So just like that, we have so many ways to get against Brickstar or against uh, sorry against Shit Striker. We got triple Twin Twister, triple draw like uh, all like all and then nine against actual good decks like Goki and Pendulum. So this is the side deck that's extremely versatile. You can play it against anything. Uh, I think Triple Inferno and Triple Ash is good to play in Pendulum just because you can also use it against Floodgates. But uh, the Hand Trap itself sucks. It's not going to stop a Goki dirt board. But if you draw two of them and save it for the Gumblar or save it for the Firewall, then you won't get Extra Link, but they're still going to put up a board, which is okay. You could deal with a board, you just can't deal with the Extra Link. This deck breaks through boards, trust me. And you don't need to, you don't need to stop them from making a board. This deck breaks boards. This deck OTKs like crazy. Nothing's changed. It still breaks boards like crazy. So, and the extra deck, we made a one small change. So, Electrum, Lanphalacus, uh, Nightmare Phoenix, you don't need Cerberus. Uh, you need Mermaid to, when you go to Phoenix, go to Mermaid to make sure you have something going downwards. And then, uh, Metaltron, Borold, uh, Dweller. We took out the Magic Spectres, by the way. They're good, but, uh, I found Abductor and Hamster to be better. Uh, Dweller, Tornado. Uh, I didn't give Supreme King, Dragon Dark Rebellion enough credit. It's incredible. Uh, Exton Knight, Naruto, Absolute Vortex, Nignister. Omega. Okay, so that's the deck. This is the last time I'm gonna, for a long time I'm going to be showing you guys a deck profile. I wanted to give you guys as much as profile as possible to get an understanding of what to play in this meta. This is the updated 60 card list. From now on, you're just going to be seeing a bunch of duels. I'm going to give you guys as many profiles as I possibly can to do different stuff for Pendulum. So use what you want with it. Look at all the decks. See what fits your playstyle the most. I think this is the best list right now. Uh, no more profiles. I'm just going to do duels from now on. I want to give you guys, like I said, as much as possible... Uh, profiles you could possibly see of pendulums so you could see what works and understand the idea and theory behind the deck and why i play every card so hope you guys like the video make sure to subscribe i want to get to 12,000 asap within a few days and from now on just gonna do a bunch of duels so you guys understand and see the deck in action and understand my card choices and how they apply in real life and duels so hope you guys like the video see you guys in the next video peace